Thing. They have a lot of similarities, the way they set up their turns, the maneuvers that they have uh, to show on any wave around the world. They have a lot of similarities that they bring to the table. As we look at Griffin versus Connor O'Leary here, how are you seeing this one play out, Barton? Solid one. Now setting up out the back here, Griffin Colapinto is getting started against Connor O'Leary. This is the non-priority heat, and Griffin lays down some beautiful tracks. And just trying to find his feet through that finish. Rosie? Yeah, I did. I, did. I went overland to G-Land from, uh, from Bali. Let's have a look at Griffin searing through those calves, definitely taking his time on the bottom and, and trying to place that maneuver in the cuppy, uh, bowled out part of the wave. That's where he was kind of, in t and to me, it almost seemed like he was in two minds of what he wanted to do, whether he wanted to drop the hand in or just go for the regular lip line float. But some beautiful maneuvers done by Griff. Definitely going to a longer length of board, and it suits him so well. Staying low, touches the water on his bottom turn. Looked a little bit awkward there out at the top, and, and as you said, Rosie, some, looked like a little confusion. Oh. The feeling he gets out of him going so quick through those maneuvers. Griffin Cole Pinto now pacing himself. Also one of the best styles on tour. Board chattering off the bottom. And here's that change Rosie was pointing out. One wave can look completely different. A little more breeze into the face, but he Ooh. will clean that up quite well. Hops out the back. Griffin's third wave ridden in the matchup with Connor O'Leary, the non-priority heat. Making back-to-back -back finals. And Connor's uh, been stuck in round four in the past. What do you think here, Barton? Rosie, what about this maneuver? Oh, I loved it. So searing. I think this is just a well put together wave for Connor, uh, for, for Griffin. Well, Tom, this is Connor O'Leary. This is an important wave. Connor now is swinging that backhand. Just kind of a redirect in the pocket, more vert on the second effort. Pacing his way through a nice backhand wrap. And O'Leary will step off. Connor's trying to make it out of this round for the first time. He's hoping that's enough. Meanwhile, in the pit and getting chomped out the back. Looked like a quick one there for potentially Cola Pinto. And now rolling in behind him, Connor O'Leary in the priority heat with Cola Pinto. The man from Cronulla turns under the lip nice and safely just to get down the line. Goes off the Ooh. bottom and a wild finishing move. <laughs> Connor O'Leary hangs on. What an effort for Connor. Let's take another look. Coming from way deep, drives from behind up into the lip, manages that high line and, and needed to keep speed to get around all of this section. Came into the closeout. This this came from his side. This energy out of that lip just came and pushed itself towards him. There's that first turn. Nice and tight. There's a long section in front of him that he needed to, to sort of horizontally come out of the lip and maintain his speed so that he could get around it. Watch this bit of energy coming at him right there. The wave flared across the top of him and just covered him up and he just looks so controlled and, and so well. There you go. Look at the scores, Joey. The scores are in. It's the wave of the day. Jake Marshall has to step off since he's in the non-priority heat. It's Connor's turn again, fresh off the 9-4-3. Hammering some backhand carves, looking strong. And the Australian pushes even harder down the line. Nothing like a big score to give you all the confidence in the world to put your opponent away. I feel like Matt's got everything that Kelly's got in those moments. And so it's, it's although on paper it's a very sort of different type of heat, in reality and in performance out here, it's a goodie. Griffin. Griffin's looking to get some momentum back his way after Connor dropped the 9.43. Nice clean wrapping carve. Digs in hard off the bottom, swings it. Back in the pocket. Now a solid Gosh. finishing jam, studying tape of guys like Joel Parkinson. From his round one heat to his elimination round heat. As we saw Jackson Dorian, Kelly's godson, the son of Shane Dorian, doing the caddy responsibilities once again. And this was Griffin's last. Beautiful carve out of the top, just such a wonderful surfer. Does it have that spectacular flaring closeout stuff? Well, he got it at the end there that he needed. Front side power carve. Big missed opportunity there. You can't afford any mistakes against Florence in waves like this. 
Aggressive snap for Connor O'Leary. Wow. And just one maneuver, and he'll straighten out with five seconds to go. Not seeing Griffin at the moment, and looks like he might be running out of time. Griffin had a good heat. He surfed well, selected good waves, finished his rides, had a really good heat. And there's this one inside moment was of a backhand closeout reentry that kind of changed the whole makeup of that heat. But great surfing by both guys. Huge win for Connor O'Leary into the round of 16.